This is Zora. And she's happy to see you. And would also rather sleep than see you. There's quite a bit to unpack today. Just got back from four days of travel. I was in Vermont for a wedding, which meant that Zora and her little sister Abby were basically on their own, except for my sister popping in to check on them. And so they, they seem to seem to handle themselves okay. Except yesterday morning, I got a message from my sister saying that there was something wrong with Abby. And she was breathing really heavily and wheezing and... And uh, she wasn't eating or anything like that. And sometimes she'd even start coughing. And so finally she went to see the vet, took Abby with her, of course. And... At first we thought it was allergies, a reaction to maybe some mold in the wheatgrass I've been setting out. But, you know, so, so the doctor had prescribed some medication for Abby for us to give her. And I made sure to see Abby as soon as I got home. My sister had to stay with her the entire day, got home about almost midnight. And so then today, the vet called back and wanted to see how she was doing. And if she wasn't getting any better, we should get her in to get uh, anesthetized and then scoped. And so I brought her, I dropped her off this morning and the vet eventually did take a look at her. He didn't need to anesthetize her after all. And he didn't, he didn't see any obstructions. And you did say that the blood work came back really good. <laughs> and Zora's now really happy to see us. Hiya, Zora. But what they did see was that on the x-ray that much of her lungs was clear. But one part of the, you know, a specific part of the lungs, I can't remember what it was called was showing even more diffusion than yesterday, and that their leading theory had been that maybe Abby had been playing with and biting uh, power cords, and this apparently can cause this sort of problem. Now, I'd never seen Abby play with any cables, and so, but to be you know extra safe, I went and checked everywhere and didn't find any damage, so I'm not entirely certain that that's really the cause. I'm going to be double and triple checking and maybe even having uh my sister and uh her offspring possibly also double check in case I miss something but anyway Abby is going to be kept overnight the vet did say that her uh trachea was actually a lot more open and clear than yesterday which means that she actually is recovering Although she hasn't been eating or drinking, probably because she was so focused on breathing. It was not super good to hear. But she'll be okay, and then I'll be able to give another update, and we'll see her again. But right now, she's not home to be seen for the A to Z update. But here's Zora. Zora's doing well herself. She's still occasionally sneezing. She had one big sneeze earlier today. Yeah, but as you can see, she's just as loving and affectionate as always. And that's that's good. Zora was also kind of concerned about Abby, if you saw her, uh, which you wouldn't have. But this morning, she seemed to be uh, taking a closer look at Abby, giving her... Looking like she was about to give Abby a look, but I think was more just interested in sniffing her and then just staying close by. So, Zora's such a sweetheart, and she'll take care of her little sister. And that's pretty much all there is to update on. Uh, we're back. Um, I have a guest with me, but they're, uh, out of respect for them, I'm not going to 
put them on the stream or the, the, the update. And I'm doing pretty well. There's not much else to say. But you know, the cats are the cats are fine, except for possibly Abby, but Abby's improving and hopefully she'll be back with us tomorrow. Right as rain.